Now listen to what the second gentleman, Doug Emhoff, said last night about his wife. Kamala is a joyful warrior. It's doing for her country what she has always done for the people that she loves. Her passion will benefit all of us when she's our president. And here's the thing about joyful warriors. They're still warriors. And Kamala is as tough as it comes. With your help, she will lead with joy and toughness, with that laugh and that look, with compassion and conviction. Well, look who is here on a Wednesday morning, Liz Peake. He called her a joyful warrior. Liz, is that what voters are really looking for? I don't think so, Stuart. I think voters are looking for solutions to rampant crime and unaffordable housing and rising grocery prices. Uh, it is funny to me that they keep using this joy word. And I think it's pretty clever because one of the things nobody likes about Kamala Harris is this laugh and this sort of affect of total silliness about this person. But now that's been translated via the me media hype into joy. So good for her. But by the way, Stuart, she actually has now rolled out a couple of policies, including the one that Hillary Vaughn was just talking about. That is to say price controls or price gouging, whatever you want to call it, a nationwide ban on price gouging. Obviously, that's a kind of absurd notion, and most everyone has panned it. But it's interesting to me that just with that, her approval ratings already, which had been steadily gaining uh, since she was tapped to follow Joe Biden, now they're coming down a little bit. And the hmm. poly market prediction, which had her up 10 points, now has her down by five. So, you know, they're right to keep her off the hmm. grid, to keep her substance free, because when people find out what a far left loon she is, she's not going to do very well. Substance free. <laughs> New word. You invented that one. That's pretty good. Now, Liz, <laughs> uh, I want you to listen to top Democrat women praising Harris during the roll call last night. Watch this. of great progressive movements. We are the birthplace of Shirley Chisholm. We are the birthplace. We are the birthplace of Geraldine Ferraro. And we are the home of Hillary Clinton. Liz, I have to tell you that some of the women I know consider that to be something of a rant. What say you? Well, look, what are they running on, Stuart? They're running on joy. They're running on Kamala Harris possibly being the first female president. And they're running because uh, on hatred of Donald Trump. The other night, Joe Biden said, there is no safe harbor for hate. Boy, I've never seen more hate uh, in a Democratic convention. They may love Kamala Harris, but boy, do they hate Donald Trump because there's nothing for them to run on. If the whole This whole convention is founded on a conceit. The conceit is that Democrats haven't been in charge, and only if they were in charge, things would be so much better. Hello, it's been three and a half years, and in fact, what? Uh, out of the last 12 or 16 years, uh, sorry, 16 years, 12 under Democratic presidents. So how is it all Trump's fault that everything is so wrong and the country is going in the wrong direction, according to 70% of the country? I mean, none of it makes any sense. So they have to turn to these superficial, you know, gender identity things, which I find really, really sort of horrifying. Horrifying. <laughs> strong stuff there. Liz Peake, come back soon. Okay, we'll see you again soon. Thanks, uh, Jason Chaffin.